Here are another 10 Marvel movie details you might have missed. Did you know that Thanos' idea of saving the universe is flawed from the start? Titan was like most planets. Too many mouths, not enough to go around. He claimed that his planet Titan was dying due to overpopulation and proposed to kill half of the people. And when we faced extinction, I offered a solution. Genocide. But random. However, when the Guardians reach Titan, Star-Lord says this. What the hell happened to this planet? It's eight degrees off its axis. So the true reason for the death of Titan was not due to overpopulation, but because the planet's axis was off. That's so strong now, huh? You stupid In Spider-Man 3, remember this scene. What's weird is how Peter, a broke college student, was able to pay for that suit. Well, if we go back to moments before, you can see that this shop has a big sale going on. In Spider-Man 3, remember this scene. This is the part where Eddie becomes Venom, but do you know who caused it? Well, if we go back and look at this. You want forgiveness? Get religion. What's going on here? So the whole reason why Eddie is in the chapel praying is because of Peter telling him to get religion. In Spider-Man No Way Home, look at this scene. Peter's costume here is all CGI, but the VFX department didn't forget to change his shadow when he removes his nanotech suit. In Spider-Man No Way Home, there's a scene where Peter Parker doesn't practice his speech. The dumber version of me that wouldn't have let them help. You didn't rehearse that, did you, Peter? By the end of the movie, when he plans to talk to MJ, we see him practicing. My name is Peter Parker. You don't know me, but I, uh... Because Spider-Man learns from his mistakes. In Avengers Endgame, when Hulk wears the gauntlet, this happens. Take it off! Take it off! No, wait, Bruce, are you okay? Uh well, the reason Cap asked Bruce first is because he also experienced it before. Don't take down! In Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter was able to cure Norman Osborn. But can we connect this to the original movie? If we go back to Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, we see in the ending when Peter makes Osborn stab himself using the glider, he says this. Oh. Peter. Don't tell Harry. I think this moment is where the No Way Home Osborn goes back in time, and because he is cured, he thinks about his son and realizes he will be devastated if he learns the truth. In Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter was able to cure Dr. Octavius. But can we connect this to the original movie? I had him by the throat, and then I... and then I was here. If we go back to Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2, we see in the ending that when Otto has Peter in his hands, this happens. It was a gift to be used for the good of mankind. A privilege. Drown it. I'll do it. I think this moment is where the no way home Otto comes back in time, and because he is cured, he chooses to sacrifice himself to save Peter. In Captain America Civil War, look at this scene. Afraid of you. At first glance, it seems that Wanda is pushing Vision down using her powers, but she actually didn't. She just makes his body so heavy that it sinks to the ground, since she can manipulate Vision's density. I'm sorry. In Civil War, when Wanda tries to escape the compound with Clint, this happens. It seems like Hawkeye is punching metal, but we all know that Vision can change the density of his body. Here, he changes his body to be strong enough so Clint can't hurt him, but not dense enough to break Hawkeye's hand. Gonna cry? 